Hey, and welcome back. So we're going to do like a one-off of a new game. A game I have not played in a long time. This is one of my favorites in my childhood. So, this game is, as you can see up here, Making History the Calm and the Storm. Well, the good people at Muzzy Lane man, were nice enough to, uh... They were nice enough to, uh... Post a thing on the forum to show how to download this game after you've purchased it and all that, so... Well, I found that little page, and I... Followed the links and all that, and I got the game back. Because... Times move on, and uh, hardware changes, and you don't hit the disc anymore. So yeah. Now I got the manual around here somewhere, but I haven't looked at it. This, this is me just going into this game as is. Uh, oh, before we begin, though, a uh, friend of mine has uh, is doing something for charity, like uh, donates a thousand. Like if she manages to get manages to get like a thousand bucks, she'll uh, shave her head or something. It's like uh, it's for the Saint Baldrick's Foundation. Now, there's a really fun story about that name, but I don't know it sadly. But what it is is that. Uh, very little money is gets put towards like child cancer research and all that. Like no company, no cancer research corporations or whatnot, whatever the system works. None of them put their own money in, and very little of government grants goes into it either. So it's basically funded on donations. So I'll leave a link in the description. Saint Baldrick's. Uh, to her page so you can uh, donate the thousand dollars well not in one shot but you know what I mean let's see uh, let's just run everything on default settings I have actually I didn't pay attention to what the time was so I'm gonna go do a time check real quick I'll be right back all right we're back so, uh, I'm going to do my standard, the United States. Uh, I'm going to read the description this time. Isolationism. Since the end of the Great War, U.S. foreign policy has boiled down to that one word. Although American leaders proposed the League of Nations, domestic resistance kept the U.S. from joining the League. Before the stock market crash in 1929, America had been a major trading partner throughout the world. U.S. banks helped Europe rise from the ashes of the Great War. Following the Great Depression, Congress passed neutrality laws that prevented the U.S. from supporting or joining any war. America's domestic focus has left its military underfunded and out of date. Thanks, Obama. Alright, keep the comments section clean, you know what to do. Uh, also my political joking aside. Because you guys will never know my political opinions, because they could be the opposite of what I just said. You want to rehabilitate America's economy, but you, but can you ignore global affairs? International tensions could damage American trade. You've watched as Japanese aggressions endanger China and East Asia, as German and Italian belligerents threaten Europe and Africa. In an increasingly hostile world, how should America protect itself and its interest? Well, this sounds like a lovely thing. Now, I guess the United States is like the noob style to play, because you start out in first place, uh, ninth in land power, third in naval power, I'm guessing that Great Britain and then Germany take the lead in those two, fifth in air power, first in industrial, First in coal, first in oil, first in metal production, and fourth largest in the manpower pool. So, all these lovely, lovely tools. Let's get started. Well, I'm going to have to ask the developers if there's any way for me to migrate the soundtrack from this game all the way over to uh, the second version of the game, because I really like it. You'll understand why in just a second.
Uh, let's see. Uh, New York, 81. Chicago, 78. Okay, I call foul. I thought that Chicago was equal to New York. Fine, I'll just get started. Uh, this game came out in 2007. So, keep that in mind. Okay, those controls still work. This was built as an educational game, so... It's much more utilitarian than any of its successors. Also, I'd like to note how few... how much many less cities there are. Uh, anyone who plays more recent versions of the game will know this. Let's see. Uh, like, there'll be... I think there was a city here. There wasn't one here, I think, but I could be wrong. There could be in the third in installation of the game. That's possible. And I thought you made arms. Well... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also balance the budget. While increasing our military and stuff... Let's see, and I want to start research projects. Where can I steal the uh, industry? Actually, I'm not familiar with all this stuff, so I might as well take a look. Alright, what's not being used? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm not familiar with all this stuff. The UI may have changed since I last played with this. Uh, let's see. What's this? Good shortage? Alright, no shortages there. Deficit spending penalty. Oh, joy, that sounds like fun. Alright, so I have to be a billion in the... Yeah. Yeah, a billion. Ooh, if only they... If only our real government was handled like this. Uh... Okay, you get a food penalty if it drops below 100%, so anything less is unacceptable. Same with arms. Let's take a look at the financial budget. Let's take a look. Infrastructure and military spending cost more than we can do, so... Uh... Let's see... I never understood how the word world market works, so... Maybe with my understanding from later games, we can, uh... Go do something useful with it. We got lots of extra coal, so... I'm gonna, uh, Let's see... Also, 200 on the market. Thank you. Because, uh, let's see. Let's figure everything else out first. Alright, current military power. Recruitable manpower. How much it costs to, uh... How much it costs to maintain it. 17 divisions of land infantry. 9 air force divisions. And 80 ships in the navy. Okay, we're gonna have to fix this eventually. But right now we got bigger problems. Let's see. Uh, where do I want to put... This is Alabama, right? No? Okay, now I look like an idiot. Yeah, this one's Alabama. Come on, put Huntsville in. You suck. Well, we'll put them on... We'll put them and Atlanta on research. Let's see. Let's just start researching land stuff, because we're going to need to catch up. When you get later into the game with this, you can uh, do some pretty advanced stuff. So, I think this is going to be a one-shot, but you know when I say go and put something in the comments and, uh, and then you guys don't? Yeah, I know you. 
you know who you are. Put something down in the comments section. I want to know, do you want to see this as a series? Do you want to see this as just a one-off game? Or did you just click away and you didn't even get it this far? If so, you suck. Balls to you. Uh, let's end the turn to figure out how everything changed. National events. Uh, exports have increased. Decreased. Uh, let's see, lots of fancy stuff. Oil, metals. Alright. So made a little less money. And, yeah, that could be an issue. Do I got, like, any South Pacific territories? Also, one thing I like about this, your top ten list is over here. Actually, no, I think this is just a great powers list for how they rank. Uh, let's see. Also, the map will tell you, like, what you are looking at, which I find to be a very useful tool. Cook Islands. Ooh, American Samoa. Could have given me something. Anything. That's the one variation that's different than later games is that Philippines is definitely US. It's not a... Uh... It's not a foreign country. First, he's Tannic. Well, I'll put that to good use. Uh, let's see. Diplomatic, military, we looked at that. Domestic. Alright, we can get infantry done fairly quickly now, so. Okay. 26% of the labor pool is uh, skilled workers. That would be me. 73% uh, are unskilled. That's you. And 1% is the military. And that is none of us. Alright, uh... Hmm. Uh, let's see... Uh... Can I increase oil production here or something? <laughs> ah. So that's how you do this. Oh, these are different. Hmm. Huh. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's definitely changed. Let's see. Actually, now's a good chance to look at some of the rest of the UI. Okay. No, I'll put this to good use. Um, all of these sound effects didn't change. Awesome. Well, whoever was in charge of not changing those sound effects, I thank you. Because also the... Like, in the United States... Each state is like a whole state now, with the exception of California. They split it in the two halves. You uncultured swine. But then it's like northern Mexico, central Mexico, and Yucatan. Or Yucatan, maybe. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Uh, coal, oil. That's very nice of them. Since I live here, we're going to be the best. We're going to maximize everything. Alright. Plus, we could use the extra resources early on, because you're going to want to run out... Because if you get to the end of the game and you... 
while eventually your population is going to start to get so large, your food's going to start dropping no matter what you do. You're probably whatever you do, you're probably going to be the last nation to suffer this problem, so no one else is going to be selling. So, well, of course, this could be me not using the same version as this. Because this is version like two point something. When I let one night head on my oh, hold on, give me a second to uh, not fuck this up. That's better. Just need to spit on something. I spit on you, kitty. You sicken me. Don't worry, there's no kitty there. Well, I'm sure there's one around somewhere. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Where is I going with this? Let's see. Uh, split California in half, evil swine. Yeah, you're going to eventually start running out of these resources no matter what you do. So you're going to get into a war just to kill off your population. I've been there. I didn't that. But yeah, like the that could have changed on the version... Because that was like 1.14. This is like 2.014. I don't know. Whatever the most recent update for this thing is. Uh, let's see. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take the turn. Cut the video off here. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Remember, donate to that charity, St. Baldrick's. And uh, see you then.